A recent study shows San Diego has one of the highest percentages of people who work remotely or work from home. Technology has provided flexibility in how and where we do our jobs. But when we consider how to make it in San Diego, we found working remotely can also put money back in your pocket. Ashley Goggins is one of over 8 million people in the United States who work remotely. I'm a customer success manager at a software company. Her company is headquartered in Chicago, but Ashley does her job from her living room in San Diego. I typically wake up around 6 o'clock in the morning and my calls start around 6.30. The great part about that is I don't have to spend time getting ready, you know, eating breakfast right away or sitting in the car. Ashley is part of a growing trend, especially in the employment sectors of management, business, and science, where working remotely is a valuable option for some employees. Many of the industries that are very, very prevalent in San Diego uh, lend themselves well to remote work. Kevin Fowler is the author of the study, which shows San Diego is one of the top cities in the nation when it comes to employees working remotely full time. And for many trying to make it in San Diego, Working remotely has its financial benefits. The peripheral costs of working on location add up to about 3000 per year. That's right. A survey from CareerBuilder found that the simple act of going to work, including wear and tear on your car, the gas, taking the bus or the train, lunch, even coffee, they all add up to at least $3,300 a year. I haven't done the math, but it does cut some costs down. Granted, there are some negatives associated with working remotely. For some, the opportunity for promotion only comes with working on site. And then there is also the simple need for face to face contact. Sometimes, you know, I go days at a time without seeing another human being. So I do make a, an effort to get out of the house at least once a day, go to a coffee shop, meet up with friends. Working remotely has become such a popular trend. Another study by Ivy League professors found that some employees were willing to take an 8% pay cut for the opportunity just to work from home.